Hey everyone. I got a few questions about it on Reddit, so I thought I'd share my Sparge setup, specifically the Sparge arm. Uh, before we get to that though, please consider gently tapping that like and subscribe button. I have a rectangular mesh ton, and both the commercial and DIY options haven't been that great. Uh, the majority seems to be geared towards round coolers or kettles, uh, and the DIY options for rectangular coolers seem mostly overly complicated. Um, involved a lot of pipes and fittings and stuff, and so they've always been a bit of a turnoff. So this was built using extra parts and fittings that I had laying around uh, at the beginning of the COVID-19 lockdown. Um, considering I have a tendency to over-engineer and over-complicate things, being forced to make do with what I had uh, resulted in a solution that I think is pretty elegant and works pretty well. In essence, it's just a length of half-inch PVC pipe with some holes drilled into it uh, and a cam lock fitting on one end. Uh, this is a PVC coupler and half-inch threaded PVC elbow connected to a stainless steel half-inch MPT nipple and a cam lock mail fitting. Uh, the holes are spaced roughly one inch apart going down the length of the pipe. Um, and I have a 3D printed cap that I printed in uh, PETG. The only reason that this is 3D printed is because I was in lockdown and I didn't want to have to go out to the hardware store just to get a PVC cap. Now that I had my sparge arm, I had to figure out a way to attach this to the cooler. After some experimentation, this is what I came up with. It's a 3D printed bracket that fits the profile of my cooler and holds up the PVC arm over the center of the cooler. I designed it in Fusion 360 and printed it in PETG and it just fits right onto the cooler. Um, there is some debate in the 3D printing world about how food safe printed parts are. I wasn't overly concerned with that because it wasn't ever going to come in contact with the wart. The PVC cap does come into contact with the sparge water, but technically PETG is considered food safe and I figured that it was minimal contact. If we're really going to get crazy about it, the PVC pipe I'm using technically isn't food safe and who knows what the cooler itself is. The results, it works great, uh, much better than I would have expected if I'm going to be honest. Um, one main issue that isn't even really a big issue right now is that the sparge water is directed in a straight line right over the grain bed. So I might not be getting the most optimal efficiency that I could be getting. Uh, I'm considering drilling another set of holes um, at an angle on the pipe so that the water comes out in a V shape instead of a straight line. Um, but honestly, it hasn't been a huge issue. It's been working great. That's really it. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have a question or if there's anything else you'd like to see a video about, um, go have a beer and I'll see you next time.